to the game and what I want to do with this at chat here I, I realize I read it up in a cruiser but let's talk a little bit about this map and maybe it, it's best to give you guys an overview of the map first then talk about positioning right and all that good stuff um, we'll see how this works maybe it'll blow up in our face maybe it won't so the thing about hotspot is you spawn up on the north or the south right it used to be a diagonal guys that that used to suck you used to spawn here and here uh it was terrible but now they've made it yeah <laughs> now they made it north south and usually c cap is where the big fight goes and we see that in clan battles we see that in ranked we see that in random battles this is where the big fight usually goes down and then a and b are off to the side um there is a mode in randoms where you've got a cap in the center of this uh, triple big island area and then B cap is kind of around this small island in the center okay um, this is the map we often see people running in and getting themselves killed for no good reason um, because they just don't understand where they should go on the map so let's start with the uh, the most difficult class for position and that's gonna be destroyer uh, for a destroyer on this particular map if you spawn, and generally speaking, I like to say you you play the side that you spawn in, all right? So, for example, I spawned on this side. I spawned on the east side of the map. I'm going to play the east side. I'm not going to waste all the time to go to the other side of the map. Please don't be that guy that does that. Um, as a destroyer, there's one, maybe two safe places to capture C from the north. One is this island right here. Now, this island is a tricky position because, as you can see, there's that lower spot up here. So if you throw your ship right here, it gets radared or sonared or spotted by planes. You could have ships that arc from long range. We're talking about like battleships and maybe even cruisers all the way down here that can hit you behind this island. So you can go in here. However, expand minimap, sure. Uh, however, Note that if you go to this position, you do not want, and I see destroyers do this all the time, you do not want your bow facing south like this, or facing east. Alright? You want your bow facing the other way. Okay? You want your bow facing this direction. Now, the reason why uh, you want your bow that way is because if you get radared or something, and people have shots on you, you need an escape route. And if you're all, if you think about it, if somebody's over here, radars you and shoots, and you're bowed this way, all you can do is either slowly back up and take more fire, or head forward right into the mass of enemies and they all die. Okay? Um, so generally speaking, I like to come in uh, from the left, go in here, and then just kind of snuggle up here. Okay? Um, or, alternately, you could, you could do... What we like to call the Chad Destroyer play, which is you throw your destroyer right here and then back up. And the reason this is so strong is because you've got the island right here. So if you get contested, you can just hit W four times and you're safe. Okay, uh, so that's another alternate. And if you want to be really ballsy, if you're in a division and communicating with other people, then uh, and, and you know they're going to cover this flank over here. Then you can try for this center island over here, but this is this is really hard to get to. So I wouldn't, I generally wouldn't do uh, that. I think the thing I always forget to do is pay attention to what my exit plan is for position. Absolutely deadliest. You always want to have an escape route. Okay. Put anything to add about sea cap from the north. As far as what DDs? Yeah. The most important thing is have an escape plan. Yep. And now, it's usually the north side, you run north, and the south side is run run south. Going for either one of the two sides is usually bad. Yep. This is the quote-unquote safe island in the south. Uh, very similar to the safe island in the north. Um, generally speaking, you, you want to have your, your bow pointed out. The problem with this island is you can see that it's a more east-west flat island. Um, and as Putin was talking about, this this causes a lot of uh, destroyer players to get screwed here. So if you're going to go here, you want to make it so that you can uh, you can escape to the south, 
uh, if you need to. So that means not lining up directly along the island, but maybe at a slight angle so you can go forward and turn. Um, you could try the cheeky island back up here, but the problem is you've got a lot of island to get past just to get behind it, and it's very easy to get yourself beached here. So that's kind of tough. And the other thing that's tough about this island is this flat spot here, uh, which doesn't really protect you from vision much. Uh, it protects you from torps, but that's about it. I know most people like to come in on the 8 line and go out the 7 line. Mm -hmm. But if you actually come in from the 7 line and have the 8 line as your escape, uh, your major concern then is anybody 9-10 line. And then from the north, I like coming in from the 8 line and then out the 7 line. Like, just think of it as a U. Mm-hmm. You know, right. because you have so much more room up north to go out through the seven line to where C line, yeah, you're protected from torrents, but there's a really good chance that somebody can shoot over to Flat Island to where if you go out the other side, you actually have hills on the other islands. Right. But like, th there's pros and cons to that because, like I said, you've got to worry about the 910 line. Anybody pushing that way can get some good hits on you. Now, it's just got to have a plan. If you're a destroyer and there's nobody, no other destroyers in your area, by default, that kind of means you're going to have to deal with C unless you're like a, like a kitey long range, you know, kind of destroyer, right? Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, if you are a, uh, a cat bully, then, then C is where you go. If there's multiple destroyers, uh, you, you would hope that one would go check the 910 line out uh, because you do absolutely need scouting over on that side in order to make sure, like Putin says, that you don't get flanked. It's very easy for cruisers to get a shot on you, sorry, uh, to get a shot on you if they come up the, uh, this 910 line here. And if you're in the safe island, which is over here, let me, let me go down here back to the back to the map here and show you what the angle is like. You see how you've got a shot on the, that safe spot behind that island? So a cruiser that comes up this way, or even a battleship that comes up this way without spots, while you're detected by air or radar or hydro, you're going to get some hurt. Um, and that's another reason to have your bow pointed north so you can escape if needed. Generally speaking, if I am in a camp and it's contested, what I'm going to do is I'm probably, before before the enemy gets in position to try to shoot me out, I'm probably going to move up. And I'm going to move, uh, by up I mean moving out of the cap. So if, let's say I'm in this uh, safe spot here, and the, uh, the cap is contested, I'm going to move over to here, to that Chad destroyer spot I was talking about, and I'm going to move outside the cap. But I'm not going to go far from it, I'm just going to move outside the cap. And I'm going to sit outside the cap until the cap circle is 50% capped, and then I'm going to reverse back. Do you know why I would do that? You want to take a guess? Put it in chat. Why would I back up into the cap after it's 50% capped? Because defended? Well, yes. Um, it's, a, it's a psychological thing. I want to encourage the enemy to basically, because I'm a monkey, no. I, I would back up there because I want to encourage them to stay in C. Whoever's in C, I want them to feel like they're this close to capping it, okay? And they're going to, exactly, they're going to be committed to being in C cap. And that allows... That allows maybe the team to get in a position to, to shoot at these guys. That also might encourage the enemy team to get aggressive and try to push me out and try to spot me. Where am I and get me out of there? In the process, they might leave a very safe position to try to hunt me down. And assuming I've got teammates nearby that can blap them, that's great. Also, also, and of course I, I have my guns pointed south, right? Also, let's say... Um, the enemy destroyer that's capping rushes right into me 
Now I can shoot that destroyer, and I can get base decaps, which is good base XP. That, that's a good way to earn XP in this game. So I'll get some XP out of the deal, and I can just hit the smoke button. He's out of cover. He shot at me. I smoke. If somebody else is attacking him, I can shoot at him for, you know, quite a long time. So um, that's how I would position myself uh, in general at sea as a destroyer. Um, I think that's the hardest part of this map to understand as a destroyer. A is a little bit easier to get, although we oftentimes see destroyers uh, struggle over there. And B, I mean, there's the island, and that's about all that covers you for that, so. Um, are we ready to talk about cruisers? Cruisers at sea cap are... Uh, it really depends on, on what kind of cruiser you're playing, of course. If you're playing a, a flanking cruiser, uh, like a French cruiser, something that's got high speed or whatnot, you're going to go off to the 910 line, right? Or, of course, if you spawn on the west side of this map, you're going to go to the 1-2 line, okay? Rarely are you going to take your flanking cruiser right down the middle of the map, especially early on, that's just asking you to die. The south destroyer position safe spot is where my mouse cursor is, Foxtrot 8, Desto 8. The left side of Foxtrot 8. So, um, generally speaking, that's um, that's what I'm going to do with the flanking cruiser. Now, if I'm playing a cruiser like I've got the Endrect right now, for example, um, what I might do is take up a more of a, of a defensive position. And this also works for cruisers like Salem and Des Moines and stuff like that. I'm going to go up to one of these islands. This one's not so good, um, but it could work. Um, this one over here is much better. Although it's much riskier. I'm going to go up to this island over here. And I'm going to point my, my bow south. Okay? If I'm a radar cruiser, this is huge. Because it allows me to cover almost all of sea. Maybe most, maybe all of sea even. Uh, hey, Cremoa. And it allows me to uh, spot the destroyers that are trying to cap here or something like that. Okay? So, that's a good position uh, for a cruiser. Um like the Indirect or a, a, a Bowen style cruiser. Uh, a cruiser like a Wooster or an Atlanta um, is well suited to this kind of an island because it's a shallow front here, so it allows your guns to arc over the island very easily. Um, and I would come into here and I, I would, would put... put... Well, I sound weird. And somebody's coming... What is that? No, it's dick That's... spur. You didn't turn your dick spur off. No, no I, I didn't. didn't. But what, what I'm saying is... It's... Why is it... Okay, whatever. I've, I've never heard, heard it come through here like, like that before. So, whatever. I'll turn the dick spur off. Are these positions for clan battles? Uh, no, these are more for random battles. I think you guys would agree that... Um, and I should probably also mute the, uh, I should turn off the overlay as well. Uh, I think for clan battles it's going to be a little bit more difficult because of, of just how much uh, there is uh, when, when it comes to clan battles. Um, so, you know, but but for like a Wooster or an Atlanta, like I was saying, you want to be here, bow pointed east in my opinion, um, and then you can you can have your guns firing up and arcing over sea cap. That's a really strong position uh, for a spamming uh, cruiser. I've seen, I've seen radar cruisers go here. The problem I have with over here is that there's really no escape, right? It's a smaller island. Uh, it, it means it's easier to get flanked. I mean, you can see you can get shot at from down there. Uh, you can get shot at from the middle of the map as well. So I really don't like this position for a radar cruiser, especially like a booster. Um, like I said, I see them go here. Please don't do that. Um, for the south, it's basically the same if I remember. So... You know, uh, a radar cruiser could go here uh, and spam over uh, quite easily. And if I'm playing a 
if I'm playing a uh, like a Des Moines or something, this is a very risky position on this side, and that's simply because of how flat the island is right here. Um, you can be cross-shotted by A pretty easily. So I don't like putting a Des Moines over here. Um, I might put a Des Moines back where I was originally. Uh, you could try to put one here, but again, it, it leaves you open to shots from too many flank spots. So I think if I'm playing a Des Moines on this side or Endrocht or whatever, uh, I would probably put myself over here as well. Maybe just a little bit farther back so I can get my guns over this flat part. And that allows me to back up if I need to. Okay. Um, Russian cruisers, I haven't talked about those. Uh, Moskva, Petropavlovsk, uh, Stalingrad. I mean, you just point the bow at the enemy um, at, these, at these places. Use your cruiser as a shield to your side. Um, here's a really good spot I see, especially in competitive, for a Russian cruiser. is right here. Because nothing can hit you from the eastern flank. It doesn't matter what's going on over there. The island's going to block it. Which allows you to isolate the enemy and make sure that only the guys from up here are shooting at you. So for a Russian cruiser, that part of the island could be your friend. Just not early on because it's easy for you to, you know, get torqued from the middle or something like that. Um, I haven't talked about cruiser positioning over on this side of the map yet. So we'll go ahead over on this side and discuss it. All right, on this side of the map, uh, Russian cruiser, same thing over here. Very strong position. You've got the island shield to your left. You can uh, prevent yourself from being shot at and stuff like that. You can fire over things. Um, so that's a good position. Um, alternately, you can position yourself right about here. If this is a random battle and you've got a cap here, then this is a really strong position for a radar cruiser. Note that the front here isn't going to keep you um, unspotted. So this is a good place to go for a Moskva Stalingrad Petro with, with a strong bow armor. I don't know that I'd want to put a Des Moines here simply because if there's a battleship over here with 406 uh, millimeter or higher, it'll overmatch your bow and uh, that will hurt. That will hurt a lot. Um, this island, I don't like it. Uh, again, too small. And then over here, radar cruiser, Des Moines, can sneak up all the way to about here-ish. Um, maybe a little bit farther, but, you know, here's probably good. Park your Des Moines right here, wait for the enemy destroyer to get in the cap, pop your eye wind radar button, and pray that your team can shoot him. And uh, this is a really nice uh, spot for a cruiser like that. Um, you can alternately put a uh, you can put a German cruiser here too, like a, a Hipper, Hindenburg, whatnot. Um, you can throw them over here and lock the area down with hydro as well, because I oftentimes like uh, I see a lot of destroyers that like to hide out right over here on this other side of the island, right? So I see a lot of cruisers that like to go or destroyers that like to go right here and they back and stuff like that. And I think you're right within hydro range. Um, for a, a, a German ship. Now from the north, you can see that there's a lot of flat land over here. And that makes it harder for a radar cruiser like a Des Moines to sit because you can see you open yourself up to a lot of cross shots from sea cap and, and uh, even south over this part. So you have to be farther back if you want to be over here. I don't like this spot uh, in a Des Moines. A Wooster, maybe, because you can climb over the island. Um, but if I'm playing a Des Moines on the northern side, I'm going to go over here, generally speaking. You've got the island shield to your left, although not as much. You have to be careful not to back up too far. You back up to here, now you're exposed, right? But I like to go right up to about here, and then my radar covers uh, all of A, and, and the same same kind of deal. Okay, I just kind of think about what uh, what I'm going to want to be able to, to accomplish and, you know, how I can support the team. Um... So, that's about it for cruisers, I think. Does anybody else have any questions about, a, is there a specific cruiser you'd like me to talk about? Uh, maybe that I haven't mentioned? Hey, JP. Boa noite. <laughs> I think that covers cruisers pretty well. 
But anybody else have anything to add? Keep up the good work. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. Um, so let's talk about battleships then. And battleships have probably the easiest um, positioning ever, but they don't, like, actually use that positioning. Um, and battleships is basically go wherever your team is going. And I know that sounds very basic, and it's meant to be that way. Um, we've all seen battleships that like to snipe all the way back here. Typically, they're North Carolinas or Iowa's, Montana's. They shouldn't... Um, What's a black rock? For? I don't know. Um, but anyways, the uh, you know battleship you don't want to see back here unless it's unless the team is losing, of course. Then then sure. But generally speaking, what I like to see battleships do is move up and work with their cruisers. Now, um, in general, cruisers want to hide and, and they want to be dealing damage but not taking damage. Battleships. It's kind of the opposite. They want to be taking damage, but they don't want to be taking so much that it becomes catastrophic. So, generally speaking, I always recommend battleships follow a destroyer or they follow a cruiser. And they try to keep one of those ships in front of them because of torpedo screening. Um, but, generally speaking, a strong position for a battleship is going to be... If I'm on this side playing battleship, I'm going to park my battleship maybe over here. And I'm going to either point my bow like this. I'll probably point my bow like this. You could alternately point your bow this way, but that leaves you up to cross shots from the B cap area, right? So generally speaking, I'll point my bow this way. Now, this is a very strong position, so imagine, if you will, that my ship is pointed this direction. I have the ability to shoot with my guns anything to the south, anything coming up the 910 line, and if something gets up to here, like, and, and by the way, this is assuming there's a cruiser or maybe a destroyer spotting over here, right? But if I go over here, I've got the ability to run away if needed. That's an important trait for battleships, it really is. Um, if they're pushing up hard here, I need to be able to hit the W key and turn like this while I continue shooting as I kite away from the battle. Okay? So, in a battleship, I, I always think that this is a pretty strong position. If the enemy goes strong here and I need to duck into cover, then I can move like this and get around behind the island. And if there's a destroyer over here and nobody is on this flank, that gives me the option, too, to start moving forward and follow that destroyer and work my way south, okay? Because nobody expects a battleship to come around the corner like this and blap. Usually there's there's some cruiser here or destroyer or something, and they're not expecting you to be there, and then they go poof, okay? So that's a strong position for a battleship, in my opinion. Um, Putin, you're a bit of a battleship main, would you agree? Yeah. I mean, you really do have to follow your team. Uh, sadly, sometimes you have to lead the charge. Yes. But a lot of this is... Like I was trying to tell guys, these are starting positions, right? Like, mm -hmm. this isn't where you go and be like, this is my spot and I'm never ever going to move. Right. Right. Like, if your team leaves C, why are you still there? Right. And that's what I mean about pointing out that way. It gives you the ability to hit W and just run and flip your guns and kite away either this way, flip your guns and kite away this way, or keep your guns pointed south and get to A10. Because that forces the enemy to decide, do they deal with you or do they deal with the rest of your team over on the other side of the map? Now, on this side over here, Generally speaking, I like positioning a battleship, oh, probably about here-ish. Same concept. It gives you the ability to shoot to the south in the middle. It gives you the ability to shoot to the south. Like I'm going to look over here for a sec so you can kind of see what angle I have. Um, it gives me the ability to shoot 
this area right over here. Um, I can probably fire arc my shells over the island here and hit something that's over here even. And if I need to in a jiffy, I can move forward and get behind cover um, at the island over here and use this as a way to turn and escape. Uh, generally speaking, I don't like taking a battleship. I mean, you can do it. But taking a battleship all the way over here, unless I spawned on the two line already, it takes a lot of time to get in position over here. And I want to make sure that I'm in position to influence the battle. Most of the battle happens over here. Very rarely does most of the battle happen on the two line. So you could put, put your battleship like this. So bow facing this direction, shots to the south. Um, you could do that. But I would only do that if you know that three or four of enemy ships are heading in this direction and you want to head them off. Um, and it's the same experience to the south, by the way, if you are a battleship, the, the same positions are true for the south. So, anything to add putting on battleship positioning? Well, battleship's really about reading the map, where you're needed, mm -hmm. what you're needed for. Like, just because you spawned at C doesn't mean you can't flip your guns and delete something at, at A. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. it's something charging down the middle to where you need to counter it. You know, it, it yep. really, battleships really just come down to taking that 30 seconds between reload and knowing what to do. Right. Um, and there's one last class to talk about, which is carriers. And on this map, it's pretty simple, right? Carriers are going to go behind the island at B, on the B line, okay, uh, in the north. And in the south, they'll stay behind the island at the H line. Generally speaking, that's the safest place for carriers to be. Now, like battleships, carriers need to read the map too. And if one side is falling, then carriers need to be prepared to start moving their damn ship. So if you're going to put your carrier over here behind the B island and... I see this so many times. What a lot of people will do is they'll park their carrier and they'll literally beach it against the island, right? Don't do that. Give yourself an out. So, you know, don't like shove it bow in right here and then stop. Put it off to the side like this, okay? This allows it an escape route. It can go forward and get out or it might even have enough room to turn around if needed. But you have to watch what happens. If I'm going to bow in like this, or, or, or have my bow pointed east, I'm watching east very carefully. I'm putting my planes at east to make sure east wins. If east loses, I need to, I need to, I need to get out of here. So I might then hit the S key four times or something, and try to back around the island, and then set the autopilot to go. Be careful about setting autopilot, because autopilot likes to kill you in carriers. Um, and, and that, that's really about all there is to say about it, which is good because we're about to run out of time. Uh, cause I think I only set, I, only, I think I set 30 minutes of time or maybe 20 minutes. I don't know, but that's hot spot for you guys. Did that help? It's the first time I've ever actually taken the time to talk through a map like that. Um, so that was cool. How much time did I have? I had 30 minutes. That was a 30 minutes that chat just talking and breaking down hotspot. Wow. Pensarex, thanks for the follow. Um, guys, did that help? And are there any other questions about Hotspot that I can answer real quick while we've got the little mini map thing up there? That was only one map, Duckman, yes. And I don't mind. We'll do one other map. Um, you were dazed and confused, but that's normal. We got 22 seconds left for our, um, our uh, stream raiders. Doesn't explain how you had such an Issei type beating us on that map in clan battles last night. Oh, Glacial, that was a ridiculous battle. Mountain range? Alright, we can do mountain.